Cheers, everybody. There's a funny story behind this morning's video, guys. Um, it wasn't supposed to be a vlog. <laughs> Things happen. Let me tell you why it's a vlog this morning. Although I do love to talk to you. <laughs> but, um, as you know, in the morning I do my art and I enjoy them so much. And this morning I was enjoying the painting so much that when I went to press the button to stop the recording, I actually pressed record, which means that the hour and a half that I had spent on this painting did not record. And I was late this morning. I started arting, I think it was, oh, that's not true. I did a little bit early in the morning and then I had something else to do. And then I started again at around 11. So by two o'clock, I think I was finished kind of thing. And nothing was recorded. No, that's not true. The beginning, the just the adding of the, the background was recorded before I paused. Whatever I did <laughs> from 11 to 2 was gone or 11.30 or something like that. Let me show you the painting. <laughs> I love this painting so much. Um, let me cover that part here. Okay. Here it is. I've got not a new setup, but I think I found the corner where I can put that camera and show a little bit more of the art. Uh, okay, here. I think I need to fold that to hide the big glare, but not really. <laughs> Bear with me. Can you see it? <laughs> Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> That's for Sammy. <laughs> All right, so you can tell the detail. See all that detail? Do you like all that detail? Because I do. <laughs> I was so upset. I was so upset. So upset. And I'm like, I can't redo this. And I ran out of juice, like, you know, at around two o'clock in the afternoon, and plus I had errands to run, and I knew I was gonna be out of the house for a while. Um. I, it just discouraged me and I'm like, no, I think I'm going to vlog for tomorrow. I got things to say anyway, so it doesn't matter. I don't think that you will miss my art for one morning. Please. <laughs> um, they're quite funny though. I, look at the two styles. They're so different. So this is what I made yesterday, as you know, and this is what I made today. <laughs> oh, um... I have to go to bed. It's 11. <laughs> I'm not. It's going to be a late night today. Um, the the detail that I did on the detail on these leaves, <laughs> they're made with gouache. Okay. Speaking of gouache, I love segways. I have a little case here. As you can see, it's all colored and everything. That's because it has wash in it. I don't want to tilt it too much because not all of it is dry but it's gouache and it's also called poster paint so the company the brand that I bought is Shinhan and they call their gouache poster paint I think a few companies also call them poster paint um, they're watercolor gouache as opposed to acrylic gouache which I prefer so which means that even if they dry I can add a little bit of water and um, I can use them again now um, they come in a jar you'll see anyways here's the I'll pose the video I'll pose the segment right here stop talking <laughs> so up until now I've been using this porcelain well or, or dish to uh, keep my gouache. They are um, reconstitutable. <laughs> you can reconstitute them with water uh, and use them, but I wanted something that I could travel with. Obviously, this is not the ideal solution. And grabbing always from the jar does not appeal to me because I don't want to open this all the time. 
and I also wanted the ability to have um, to mix some of these with white which I have done here because when I uh, use gouache I mostly use light colors to overlay over dark watercolor uh, but by buying the dark color you also have the ability to use the dark color so that's why I went uh, with what I picked up so I thought, okay, um, the little half bands that I use for my watercolors, I don't want to use that. I didn't want to use, I, I wanted to have a small amount because I have to mix most of them. I didn't want to have to mix all the time. And I know a little goes a long way, but anyways, that's the thought I had in my head. So I figured, okay, well, let's grab a container that has like a, like a jewelry container kind of thing, much like this here. So I went to Michael's and this came in a set of three and I thought that all of these dividers were um, fixed. They weren't removable because nothing was jiggling really. But as soon as I opened the box, <laughs> I knew I was in trouble because they are removable. These dividers, these ones, there's two fixed ones but most of them are removable. I didn't want to go back and exchange them. <laughs> So what I ended up doing is I took my glue gun and I pulled out the removable um, dividers and then I put glue inside the, here I'm going to show you with this one. So what I ended up doing is putting glue inside that groove along here in the middle and then inside that groove and then re uh, repositioned that little divider in place and now it's secure. The glue is not going to bother me because it's not water soluble. At least I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, so I can pretty much uh, fill up these sections and now I have large pens and I'm very happy with that. The reason why I glued this down is that I didn't want to the colors to get contaminated from one side to the other because obviously there's always a little gap so that's why it needed to be secure so now it's totally secure solid and I'm ready to fill that up with my uh, gouache which uh, is also called poster paint this is Shinhan by the way that's the company that uh, I found at one of my local art store uh, this is kind of like watercolor gouache uh, as opposed to acrylic gouache so it gives you a, like a nice beautiful matte finish uh, it's high quality they are also a light fast or well, they do have a light fast rating uh, or light fastness rating I should say but uh, anyways th these they have a lot of colors but I ended up just picking those so I'm gonna fill those up and I'm quite excited and I'm gonna show you what it looks like at the end right I'm done uh, it was a little bit laborious but um, here it is so what I've created are pastel colors with these colors that I had bought and then I have white, red and black. Uh, the object for me to use gouache mainly is to be able to overlay light colors over top the watercolors. Um, so anyways, but one never knows. Um, I had a little incident with my pink, <laughs> with my fluorescent pink. It's called pink, but it's like very, very, very vibrant, as you can tell. So that's my cute little box. So I like the fact that I have the color and then the pastel color, which I've mixed with white, and I can take this on the road. So very happy, although I have to, I had to work quite a lot and I had a little bit of an accident, as you saw. I dropped the pink on my desk, but anyway, so look, cute, isn't it? <laughs> Very happy, very happy about that. Uh, so yes, this is what I used on these flowers. So yeah, quite happy with that page. You almost saw it in action, sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to be a tease, but that's what it is. Oh, want to see what I did for my patrons last month? Okay, so this was their $5 reward, which has gold on it, and it has a nice interesting quote. It says, Nothing is too small to know and too big to attempt, by William Van Horn. I really like this quote. It's so true. Nothing is too big 
aim high guys aim high <laughs> and this one I'm super proud of it gave me a lot of grief it was difficult to do but I pushed myself and I love it so this is my fairy <laughs> fairy sunrise Fairy Forest Sunrise? I don't know. And there's a lot of detail in there, but, oh. The, you know, I think I love it more because I had such a hard time with it. There were so many versions of this painting, and they were all different. But this one, I really enjoy. So, yeah. Thumbnail. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, <laughs> I do have something recorded, though. Oh, maybe I can show you that to make up for my morning art absence. This morning, oh, that's why it was so late. <sighs> I keep forgetting things. I'm sorry. This morning, before I started my art, no, that's not true. I'm fibbing again. I did the background for this. That's probably what happened. Anyways, there was a disconnect and pushing the button, and I think what happened um, has to do with a face that I did. Um
wanted to show you. I remember the here, this one. A couple of days ago, like these exercises that I published, and this one, um, I had practiced on a hundred percent cotton paper before, and it's what a difference. <laughs> Uh, but here, look at all these colors, aren't they like yummy? This one was a fail, like this one was an absolute fail. This was the first one that I did. Um, and this, ugh. But the rest of them, I really like. I like this one. I love this deep one here. Oh, it's so yummy. But anyways, this is how I practice. And I practice on a sheet, uh, a reject. Oh, here! <laughs> That's one of the reject pieces of this. Was, is this? <laughs> so the girl, it's not finished by the way. And then these spots I added after I said, no, I don't like it. So it's just like, you know, uh, but she was supposed to be a girl and she turned into a fairy. But yeah, a little bit of history behind that. Something else I wanted to share with you is this painting which whoa which had a lot of you a lot of you reacted to this painting because i keep saying i don't like this cloud so i ended up like hiding this and some people say no i like i like the blue cloud i don't <laughs> i still don't but someone commented and let me see here um helen helen spedding low she said no that's not it wrong wrong lady I had to print my comments because uh, Liz Liz um, oh I don't have yeah I do she said because it was tough to remove because in I used indigo for this and indigo is a staining color and she gave me a tip of you take a magic eraser like a mr. clean magic eraser it's kind of dirty because I used it a little bit um, and you wet this eraser a little bit and then you start rubbing slowly and you see it's supposed to remove the color. I know that these erasers are quite abrasive so that's probably it. It's probably um, scraping at the paper gently I guess. So I'm going to try it. Um, I was going to put the camera overhead but Trust me, I'm doing it, okay? So I'm going to dip my sponge in water, clean water-ish, not so clean, <laughs> so it's, and I'm going to start rubbing at this edge here, oh, oh, it, oh, oh my, It works! Oh my god! Okay, I should have showed you before and after. Okay, do you see that corner? Whoops. See it? Okay, I'm gonna try and make that little line disappear at the end. Oh my word! What? Okay. You have to rub very gently. <gasps> okay, I can see why it's working. It's because it's it makes the paper pill. Wow. You see this? Liz? Thank you so much. Oh, I'm happy. So I just cut a little corner and I'm gonna keep on cutting little corners like this, but my goodness! My goodness! Wow, you can even like let me see how I drag that color over there just to blend it. I'm going super gently, by the way, because that's what I've been told. See, I listen. Wow. Okay, guys, go buy some Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. It does work. That's unbelievable. I mean, it's believable because now I see it. Thank you again, Liz. I appreciate that tip. Um, I, I have some notes. I, I printed some comments because <laughs> some of them are just, oh my gosh, funny. Okay, so hang on. Let me check that off. That's done. 
Um, Oh, someone had, someone else had given me a good suggestion. Maggie, Maggie Sanderson. She said, uh, instead of like covering it up, you could write a poem over here. That's true. Um, I'm not a poet, but I could have chosen, I could have written uh, a quote or something like that. Because she was saying it's a shame to cover it up. Good suggestion. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys are so funny. <laughs> So Bonna, Bon, bon Swartz, okay, I'm just going to call you Bon, B-O-N-N-E, I hope, I hope it's not Bonnie, Bonnie Bon, Bon Bonnie, okay, sorry for butchering your name, um, she had a comment on my last vlog and, uh, because I was saying that, I think my last vlog was kind of like goofy in a way, uh, I was probably very tired like I am today and, I do laugh a lot. That's what I do. What can I say? Um, but she has a very good term for laughing. She says that laughing is internal jogging. Oh. <laughs> I love this. Love this so much. Laughing is internal jogging. So I guess you can burn off the calories. Is that which? Oh, yes. She says <laughs> laughing is eternal jogging. So I'm sure you burnt off that ice cream. If I, oh, if I spend my day eating and laughing, does that negate each other? Which means that I could potentially lose weight. <laughs> I'm liking this. I like where you're going with this. I'm going to try something else. <laughs> I'm sure it's not going to work. Um, <laughs> that's, I'm sorry. I laughed before I show you. Okay. So there was this painting of cacti. I'm going to find it. Don't worry. Somewhere in my book. My book is almost done, guys. Almost done. Where is that? Oh, here it is. <laughs> She's right. <laughs> so, <laughs> this one. Is this the one? Yeah, okay. So, this one here. She says, All I could see with that tall cactus is a guy putting his hands up in the air saying, Don't shoot! Caused me endless amusements as he was being ambushed by the bunny. <laughs> so the story of the bunny is, as you know, if you've watched the video, I'm going to try to put links to all the videos that I'm referencing, but uh, this cactus here <laughs> was referenced... Uh, from my little cactus that I purchased recently and it has a big ear and a small ear and it looks like a bunny when I look at it I just keep thinking bunny so <laughs> I imagine a big tall guy being ambushed by a bunny oh god that's funny you guys are hilarious that was Helen <laughs> you make me laugh I love it um, someone said Cindy 55 Cindy said that uh, when you get the giggles, uh, she says, I love it when people get punchy. That's what I call when people get the giggles in free flow. That's cute. So I get punchy <laughs> all the time, <laughs> even when I'm by myself. Okay, the I think this is the last item on the agenda. It wasn't too long of a vlog, was it? Um... My Patreon family is growing by leaps and bounds and I am so grateful and I know it has to do with my YouTube videos. So if you are a patron and you come from my morning YouTube stuck <laughs> my morning YouTube videos. Uh, welcome to the Patreon family. I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. I th every little bit helps. And speaking of every little bit, uh, some of you have reached out to me and said that they would love to contribute, but not on a monthly basis. And I do understand that, although if you're a patron, you can cancel anytime you want. There's no obligation. Uh, and there's somebody else that said that uh, because it's in US dollars and she's Canadian, it amounted to so much. Um, and a couple of you have suggested that I um, get a PayPal Me link. So essentially PayPal Me is, <clears throat> I guess, a safe place for you to send money if you 
wish to do so without having to it's a way to support me it's it, I guess it's an amount that you do like this and that's it it's not um, it's not a subscription it's not a membership but for those that would like to um, donate I guess yeah cuz that a lot of people have called it donation and I don't have a donate button or something like that but someone mentioned PayPal me uh, first and that was Catherine yeah Catherine Noggle uh, Catherine thanks so much for that and I did um, go and open a PayPal me link which you will find here below that's the address where you can go and um, donate if you want to and again it makes me very uncomfortable to ask for money and I'm not asking I'm just doing this because a few of you have asked okay so don't feel like you have to donate money just by watching my videos you guys are already contributing and I do appreciate that um, if you would like to contribute some more without having to give money what you could do is watch the commercials until the end like the ads that are put on my videos I don't choose the ads that's a YouTube thing that's one way to contribute and you don't have to do it all the time once in a while uh, that's one way of contributing without having to donate money <sighs> that was very uncomfortable <laughs> But anyways, it's done. Uh, it's part of my job, unfortunately. Um, I want to do... I still want to do live uh, streams. Yes. And I, I really want to do them on YouTube. But I don't know, for some reason it sounds so complicated. My computer is on a different desk. It's not a laptop anymore. So I'm trying to figure out a way to use my iPad Pro to do this and have like good quality for the feed. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work. I'm not sure that you can do that with an iPad Pro. Uh, I do have a webcam, but the webcam needs to be attached to the computer, which is all the way there. <laughs> So maybe I can just like get a long wire. I don't know. Uh, also, I'm reorganizing my studio again because I've realized lately that my overhead um, installation for filming, it bugs the crap out of me, <laughs> honestly. Because every time I push a button, if I zoom in, zoom out, or, you know, start or like pause and, and record again, the the arm is so long that it bounces and I hate that so what I'm trying to do is install something to the right of me you can't see it but uh, and then I have a shorter uh, monopod that used to be my old installation when I way back when when I lived at the house and I had a big space uh, but that thing sat like right above me and it was just so perfect so I think I'm gonna use that and hook up my camera to it and it's probably gonna be more stable and yeah I and I won't have to rotate my my footage because that takes a long time in the processing as well because right now I'm filming upside down that's the only way I can do it anyways it's tech talk I'm upset about this morning's painting. <sighs> and it came about so organically. And I don't want to reproduce this because it's boring for me. You know, if I, maybe I'll do something similar tomorrow morning. Uh, I do love the color scheme though. I was going to say I can do it with a different color scheme, but I really do like it. It's so, I find it's pretty. Um, there's nothing wrong with liking your artwork, right? I really do like the color combination, the details. I don't know, I just. <laughs> oh, and look, I almost. I'm almost done with my book. There's like probably 12 pages left or 15 pages left, and I'll be done. So I'll do a full sketchbook tour when, when it's all done. You really get a sense of accomplishment 
by doing a journal. I'm very happy I did that. I think I've explained in the last video that I'm going to do another book, but this time it's going to be using discs. Oh, that's what I forgot. I wanted to see online where I could get those discs, but um, <clears throat> they're like little wheels. They jut out. And then uh, the way the papers are punched, you can remove them and put them back. So I would art without it being in the book and then I would put it in the book. Yes, I do like that format, uh, the, the size of it, which is like a half page, a, a page, like a nine by, t no, an eight by 10 folded in half. Yes, I really do like that size. For morning practices, it's perfect, okay. It's enough. <laughs> I'm just babbling. I gotta go. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you, my awesome patrons. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being supporters of my art. And if you are curious and interested in seeing uh, exclusive videos, you can go and check out the iCard. Nope, the iCard right here. Nope. It's reversed on my phone, but not on this camera. I'll put the eye card in the left hand corner, in the right hand corner, <laughs> in the right hand corner on YouTube so that you can go and visit my Patreon page. Yes, because they get exclusive content. Usually. <laughs> no, they do every month. <laughs> it's just that I skipped over the month of April, but they know about that. I've already told them so. And thank you again, Liz, for that magic eraser tip. I really like it. Okay. I gotta go. Thanks so much for watching and I will see, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>